chicken breasts, panko chicken breadcrumbs, white normal chicken breadcrumbs, and an air fryer, chicken tenders. Mm. She's not very well today. No. I've got a bit of a sore back. I've got a bit of a headache. We've got a wedding to attend on one uh, Saturday, and we're not well for the first time in about six months. No, I had that 100 day cough, didn't I? Oh yeah, so, we had, yeah. yeah, you had, had the 100 that, day yeah. cough, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this folks, give you a video. Okay, Sharon, we've got some chicken breasts. Yeah. Uh, normal chicken fillets, we've got these from Tesco's. They're quite dear chicken breasts, aren't they normally? Yeah, I think it's four pounds something. Yeah, but normally when you go to a McDonald's or something like that, which we do do, we normally have the, well I have the chicken tenders or whatever. Yeah. People call them chicken tenders. And uh, we want to create them in the air fryer. So we've got normal white bread crumbs in the tin. You can grate your own. And then, hold that little baby up, Cher. We bought these off of um, Amazon, which is the, I can't see the writing, Cher, which is the panko bread crumbs. Now we've got a kilogram of them here, and they come in at about £6.50 on Amazon. So we're going to do two loads. We're going to slice these up. We're going to dip them in flour, season the flour. Yeah. And you could then we're going to the dip them. the breadcrumbs as well, couldn't you? I think we do season the breadcrumbs. Mm. So let's get going, get it all together, and uh, we'll get these done and cooked in the air fryer. Right, so today, folks, I'm in charge in the kitchen, and all we're going to do is create our little flour for dabbing our chicken in, our seasoned flour. So we're going to season this up. So I'm just going to put a bit of flour in the uh, bowl there. You got it on there, baby? Yep. Because Sharon's a camera woman today because she's not feeling too well. Just to follow the flour. We're going to take, oh that's strong Sharon, smell that from here. This is garlic powder folks, garlic granule powder. I'm just going to take a teaspoon of that and drop that in there. We've then got some um, chicken seasoning, just to add a little bit of a uh, spice to it. This is normal chicken seasoning, you get it from your supermarket. I'm just going to drop a bit of that in there. There we go, put a bit more of that in. And I'm also going to get some um, smoke, oh, some paprika, hold on. Yeah, Sharon's not been too well. Now, I suppose if you could, if you wanted to, Sharon, you could put... Um, go to bed. <laughs> cayenne pepper in there. Yeah, just don't go too mad. I'm not going to go too mad. You make it to your flavours that you like It's yourself. just the one I want. It's going to be right at the very back, isn't it? Paprika, here we go. So I'm just going to put a bit of the old paprika in. Again, all teaspoons, try and keep measurements simple. Again, this is literally just for dousing on the chicken, so a heat teaspoon of paprika. I'm just gonna, just mix it all up. Now you can put white pepper in there, black pepper, anything you want, but this is what we're going with at the moment. And again, this is just to give the initial coat on, um, on the chicken itself. So nice and simple. So I've got another two bowls over here. Let's move them out of the way. Oh, my back's a bit sore, shall yeah, I feel a bit sick at the moment. Do you, baby? Mm. Yeah, so we're bringing this to you, folks, because uh, we know you like your videos. I know we like creating them, but to say today, we're both not, we're both under the weather. And all, that's all we want with a wedding we're going to this week, with our son, Jimmy. So, normal white breadcrumbs, and I'm just going to whack them in there. Ain't got to go too mad. So with these, we're going to do exactly the same with the uh, panko Breadcrumbs. Oh, it's got a resealable top on it, Sharon. That's good. I'll rip that off, saves me cutting the top off, which I've done before, haven't I? Yes, many a time. So let's just open that up. And again, already prepared, folks. So let's whack a bit of them in there like that. A kilogram of them we've got there, look at that, look. They're a lot more coarser. So again, that's handy, nice and resealable. This time I ain't bugging it up, Sharon. Well done. So there's our three dry ingredients. So let's just put them to the back like that. Now, I suppose we could actually flavour these as well, couldn't we? Should we do that as well? Well, I don't know if it'd be too much. I don't think so, Shell. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in each. So you can do this with the uh, spoons as well, folks. I'm going to try it. See, just, I'm a, I would have flavoured the bread. Well, just a little bit. I'll put half flour. in. How about that? I'll put half in, Shell. Yeah. Half of each. How about that? There we go. So half of that. Half a teaspoon of the chicken seasoning in there. And in there. Just like that. And with the paprika. Exactly the same with that as well. Look, just like that. So that's it, I've done them as well. And again, I'll just give them a little bit of an agitate, shall I? These are a lot coarser, as you can see, look. They are, not they? And they're nice and dry. Now normally, when you try to do these yourself... Well, you usually leave the bread out to get dry when you're making it yourself. Yeah, well, that's it, yeah. So I'm just literally just gonna just stir that through. We don't want clumps of it in there, obviously, so... Make sure you uh, mix it well in. That's better. Right, okay, so there's our dry ingredients done there. 
Now I'm going to take the chicken breast now and get that bag open. I've got a nice sharp knife here. So let's just get these out. Now what we're going to do is literally just sort of uh, fillet these. I'm just going to wash these off. I do find these get a bit slimy because we're going to wash them first and then we're going to pat them dry. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so I'll just give them a little bit of a wash over. I'm just going to pat them dry just to get all the uh, moisture off of them with some uh, kitchen roll like that. And then we're just going to cut them into strips, Sharon. Now I've got a lovely sharp knife here, so you do these how you want. I want to maybe cut them a bit thinner than that because they look a bit chunky so I'm just going to go down the middle with that one because that looks quite a thick strip there doesn't it there we go so and I'll cut these maybe into long strips maybe like that yeah there we go nice sharp knife you want with this folks and maybe just cut that one like that and that one down the middle like that so that's one lot there and that's all we're going to do that's sort of the size you get when you get these uh, chicken tenders and uh, we'll cut the rest up let's, let's just lay them on there like that and i'll cut the other ones up now i'm just going to trim off the uh there's some old end bits there i don't want them on there so i'm just going to get rid of them we want these to be lovely and tender see them sort of things there just getting rid of that on the ends there I think that'll be all right, some nice sizes there. Right, so I've got a lovely pile of chicken tenders there, folks. Okay, so that's that all done. So I'm just gonna break two eggs into another bowl. You're, you're doing the camera work today, look. I'm just gonna come in here at near. Literally, just combine them eggs together. Like that. Just to give us a, a dip in liquor, Sharon. And then we're gonna put them in the air fryer. So we'll probably use the dual air fryer for this one because we're gonna get two going at the same time. I'll automatically get our trays out like that. And what I will do is I will take our oil, now our olive oil here in one of these little squirty things. And I have washed my hands by the way, folks. And all I'm gonna do is just give that a shake up just to give it a bit of a coating on the inside like that, shall look. When you shake it, it aerates it and it just makes it flow a bit better and come out as a sort of a, a fan as opposed to a jet, as you can see there. Look at that, look, see? Yeah. So let's just do that. So they're ready to go now. So now I'm going to try and do this without getting all messy. So you could do it with a fork. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with a fork, Sharon. So I'm going to put them in my flour first, as you can see. Just dredge it on both sides, like that. Get a nice coating on there because you want a bit of flavour on there, which we're hopefully going to get. And then I'm going to go into my egg. So again, just drop it in, turn it over. Notice I'm not getting my hands dirty at all, folks, but make sure they're well covered. And then this time, I'm going into the standard breadcrumbs. Make sure it's coming off there like that. Oh, well, then just drop it in, and then just literally cover it up like that. There you go. Give it a good cover and a good coat. And once you've done that, just hang it up like that. Give it a shake off and go straight in our air fryer like that. There we go. So I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll do another one with a panko just so you can see. So again I'm not getting all messy and dirty. I'm going in with the flour first just like that. Make sure you get plenty on there. There you go just like that. In with the egg. Give it a turnover and keep turning it over just to make sure you get that flour all over, make sure it's all coated folks. And then this time we're going straight into our panko breadcrumbs. And we'll just literally flick all that over the top like that. Like that, give it a turnover. And as you can see, you get them lovely panko breadcrumbs stuck onto your chicken and then straight over into the other air fryer like that. And that's the sort of thing we're looking for. Two different types. So I'm going to carry on doing them, you ain't got to see that, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I've done it, shall? I've done it all for you, baby, well and I've done. even cleaned up for you, as you can see there. Oh yeah, well done. Well done. So let's have a little look what we've got here. In this one, we've got the uh, panko breadcrumbs in there. In this one, we've got the standard breadcrumbs, which is your, your, your white ones. But and of this one, because I was full up with space there, 
I've just done this one with the bare flower shell. Season flower. Just to see what they come out like. So let's do no more. Come over here, baby. This is what makes them, hopefully, as crispy and as flavoursome as you get in the top without them drying out. Get your oil. We use olive oil here. We've got a little spray one, as I say there, but these can come out with just one jet. If you ain't careful, let me do it over here, shall I? I'll show people, look. See, that's just one jet coming out. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Now, if you shake the oil up, you aerate it, and what happens then, watch. It comes out, and you want to coat your chicken fillets, or tenders rather, in the oil. Make sure you get a good coating on them, because this is what gives them the flavour and the crunchiness of the mass-produced ones. So you want to get a good coating on either, each one of them. Make sure you get it all on. All the way around. Now don't forget folks, come up here for a minute. When you buy these in the shop and you put them under the grill, you may notice the oil that comes out of it. That's because they're partly cooked anyway in oil when you get them. So you're just reproducing what you get from the shop by adding the oil in this manner. So again, come over, squirt them all, all over the surface. Don't forget, olive oil is a good oil, so don't worry about that. And they're always done like this anyway. There you go. Not so, with olive oil, they're not. No, not with olive oil. They'll be done with a cheap oil yeah. and not, not one that's not very good for you. So you're using, you're controlling everything when you're doing it your home way. Right, so in the air fryer, like that. And also the uh, turbo blaze over there. We're putting in. What we're going to do, we're going to cook these first on one side and then we'll flip them, oil the other side, and then that'll hopefully be it. So let's just turn it on, shall we? So I'm going to put these on at uh, 180 degrees centigrade, like that, 10 minutes. So let's just go to 10 minutes. I'm going to do sink cook, so that one does exactly the same. Off we go. And I'm going to set this one up exactly the same. That's 185, 180 rather, for 10 minutes and off we go. There we go. Come back to you in a minute, folks. Right, 10 minutes are up, folks. Let's pull these out and have a look, Sharon. Looking all right. They're they looking are. good, aren't they? Let's just turn them over. Try and do it this way if I can. They might be a bit off. If not, I'll, I'll probably, I'll tell you what, I might be able to do them with the, uh, the tongs, might I? It's stuck well, isn't it? It has. Yeah, look at that, look, look. So I'll get our oil shell, give it a good shake up. And while we're there, look, I'm just gonna, again, just coat them over there now with the oil, because you want that crunchy, deep fried taste. There we go, just like that. I'll pop that ones back in, they're turned upside down. These are the panko breadcrumbs one. As you can see, they're browning off nicely there. I'm just gonna try and flip them over. Yeah, they are crunchy, Chef. I'm just flipping them over. Oh, that is hot, just burp itself. Yeah, don't do what I do, folks. Use a fork or something or whatever. There we go, so that's them ones. Let's just spread that one out a bit. Like that, and again, just give them Always make sure to shake your oil and give them a, a nice coating of the oil as well. Don't forget, this is your lovely good oils, which is your uh, olive oil. So that one can go back in. Now these ones over here, let's have a look at them. Oh, they look all right. They look like battered. They do look bad. That's the idea of it. I thought they might do that, Sharon. Look at that, look. Oh, they do look nice, don't they? Mm. These are without it on, just to, stay, just to season flour, folks. So let's just flip them over. Oh, hello, missed that one. And I will give them just a little dash of the oil. There you go. And then plonk that one back in. Right, so I think I'm going to put these on for eight minutes, Sharon. Right. If, if it needs a little bit longer, I'll put on the extra two minutes. I should so think it will do. Ten minutes on it, but they are cooking from underneath yeah. anyway. So this time we're going for 180 again. You don't want them to dry out. Exactly, but that's the idea of doing the old um, squirting on them as well. So eight minutes, sink, cook, or sink, yeah, sink, cook now, and off she goes. And we do exactly the same with this one. 180 rather for eight minutes, and off we goes. Hopefully, when we come back, Shia, these are going to taste fantastic. I can't wait. She is here, folks. Look, she's not feeling very well. No. But we needed a little pretty face on there, didn't we? Just I don't to... feel very pretty at the moment. No, oh, you are to me, baby. Oh, You're pretty you. even when you were... Uh, you're laying in bed and you're snoring your head off with dribble on your pillow. Oh, for God's sake. Mate, you've all pictured, don't you? Well done. Thank you very much. Goodness. Having this glass door shell on these um, modern air fryers there, you can actually see the food cooking there, which is really great, which we've already been looking at. So, 10 seconds to go. And I've not had to put these on for no extra time at the moment. I'm going by the colour of them. Oh, Although we will so. check the uh, temperature with our probe. Right, 
Okay, so let's have a little look inside now, folks. Oh yeah, look at them. That's the panko chicken one, Sharon. Let's have a little probe, see if they're all right. Put that into that, probably the thickest one there. Oh look, zooming up, look, 81, 83 degrees there, look. I will just try another one there, that's a thick one as well. 84, 90 degrees that one, so we know they're done all right. So let's put them to one side. These are the normal breadcrumbs ones. <sighs> oh, they do look good and all, Sharon, don't they? Yeah, don't they? Don't they? And look at the crusting on them, look. That's the beauty of having the oil squirting them. 99 degrees in that one. I'm not even going to bother checking the other ones. And let's have a look at the other ones, which has just got the plain flour in, Sharon. Although these are a lot smaller, but we can see that. Oh, yeah, 92 degrees. Right, okay, shall? Yes. Let's put them on a little plate. Let's have a little look at them, and then we'll uh, cut them up, and then we'll have a little taste test. And the last lot. Beautiful. There you go. Right, they look absolutely fantastic, folks. Look at them, look. Right, so let's have a little go. First of all, shall we've got these ones here, which is the um, standard one with just literally the flour on first of all. Now they look battered, don't they? They do. So have a little go at that. Hmm. What are they like? Crunchy. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Can you taste the seasoning? Yes, I can, but it's just coming through now. Right. Very tasty. So let's have a look at the, let's try the standard ones first of all, with just the normal white breadcrumbs. So have a go at one of them. Let's have a look at them first of all. Hold it up, let's have a look. And as you can see, the coating is well adhered to it, and it does have that um, shop vibe going about it, doesn't it? Looking like a shop one. Yeah, it does actually. So let's have a go at that. And they got a crunch, I heard the crunch. Mm. Mm, that's nice. Yeah? Nice and tender. Right, mm. put that to one side. And now the one, the panko chicken there. That's the panko bread crumbs. Let's have a look at that. Can we just turn it around, shall we? Have a look. As you can see, well coated, folks, and hopefully very crunchy. I heard that. Mm. Can you taste the difference between the two? Pan, actually, there's a lot more crunch on that one. What one do you prefer out of the two? I think I prefer the panko. Right, can I have a go? Mm. Right, Sharon. Let's have a little go at this. Now, this one does look like it's been fried, Sharon. It does. Doesn't it? Looks a bit like a nugget, actually. Yeah. It has got crunch to it, folks. So much better than just putting a normal chicken breast in the air fryer and letting it cook itself. The coating, and don't forget you can spice that up as well with chilli, it brings a lot to the party, Sharon. And I'm well happy with that, so I'm gonna put that down for a minute. Right, and like you, I'm gonna go in for the normal breaded one, first right. of all, which, as I say, by putting that oil over the top, gives it the, the factory finish sort of thing, if you know what I mean. So let's have a little go at this. Oh, it's moist. Oh yeah, that is lovely. And again, the coating stays on in one piece. The chicken has remained moist inside as well. I could eat a load of them. See that, you haven't put it down. <laughs> and the one I'm looking forward to tasting is the panko chicken, folks. Look at that one, look. Look at that coating all the way around, look. And that's the beauty of using a fork to pick it up and dib-dab it. You don't get no messy fingers and putting that coating on it. If you were to put that in dry, there's a very good chance them breadcrumbs would have dry, uh, burnt. Mm. And you don't want that, and that would have been on dry on the surface, but it retains a bit of moisture that look, makes it look factory, so to speak. So let's have a little go at this. Oh, um. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. The panko, which I've never really had before, yeah, gives it an unbelievable crunch, even when you're chewing it, once mm. you put it in your gate. Why don't you try a bit of a I'm sriracha. I'm going to try a bit of sriracha. Yeah. Now, this is what I would normally probably do, folks. Got some sriracha sauce there. Just have a little go. This will be a tester, Sharon. This is what tells you whether they're Moorish or not. You've been lying, saying that I took away your Oh, God. 
drowning by yourself. Now you wanna blame me. They're like you're buying a shop. No, they're better than what you buy in a shop because like well, they are like, better than what you I buy in a shop. Yeah. Because I was thinking they're dry. I've got to go in again, yeah. Man, that's on you. Yeah. Mm. And you don't hear that crunch when you're in McDonald's, do you? Eating their ones or KFC. And what it does there, uh, it takes the humble, dry, normally chicken breast, and by using our little secret there, after you've produced them with your breadcrumbs, whatever one you want to use, the other ones are still excellent. Get the oil. Shake it about, that's the trick here. Yeah? Give yeah. it a good shake. Squirt the tops, cook it for 10 minutes, turn them over, squirt again for another eight minutes if you're producing the fillets this size. You've got some fantastic uh, chicken breast there, which is moist, it hasn't dried out at all. It's got fantastic flavor. And the beauty of the, having that sauce, uh, these crumbs, is that they hold a sauce excellently, as you can see there. Now that could be garlic mayonnaise or whatever. That would be fantastic, shout garlic mayonnaise. Let's put it in your mouth and shut up. It's you. So there you go. We've told you our little secret there for producing chicken tenders. The way to make them crunchy as hell, Sharon. Very crunchy. Well, I'm keeping that original deep fried flavour in an air fryer and with very not, minimal oil. And they're not dried out at all. Superb. I hope you've enjoyed that one, folks. Do give them a go. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you've ever tried to, anything breaded in an air fryer without giving it that coat of oil first. Even a scotch egg, for example. Oh, yeah. We do it with a scotch egg. We love a deep fried scotch egg. We've got a deep, uh, deep fryer over there. That but, is filled with olive oil. Which is filled with olive yeah. oil. But you can create exactly the same by just coating the outside of them breadcrumbs with that and you'll get that Oh, shell, fantastic. Anyway, don't forget, folks, have a little check of our other videos. We've got a couple of playlists down there. Well, many playlists, Sharon, actually. We have. Loads of cooking videos. We've also got our Sunday vlogs. And also, most importantly of all, if you've never been here before, hit the subscribe button. Yes. And recommend us to people as well. Share the love. We've got some lovely videos there, and we're going to bring a lot more to you this week, this week as well, coming up. And also, we're going on holiday yet again, and we're taking you with us. You're getting a holiday, and you ain't got to pay for it, Shell. <laughs> You're doing well. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now. Bye.